that familiar verse in Joel 2.28. It's much more familiar. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Now, how can these things both happen in the last days? Or the one that is Joel, you could say, uh, hereafter. And uh, the other one in Timothy, 2 Timothy, is uh, in the last days. I believe the answer is, I, I, don't, I don't believe the scripture ever contradicts itself. No. Never. Never. Never contradicts itself. Interpret so. And, uh, but I think the explanation is both things are going to happen. Right. Amen. Both things are going to happen. Uh, the Bible doesn't say that everybody's going to be saved. That's right. That everybody's going to turn to Jesus. That everybody is going to repent. Uh, and uh, change, get rid of their evil habits. So I think there are going to be those uh, that will still hang on to their wickedness. Yep. And there are going to be those uh, that are going to place their hand in the hand of God. Yep. Blessed be the wonderful name of the Lord. Now Derek Prince uh, said something. He explained mm -hmm. Revelation 22 and 11 and uh, it's very it's very interesting his explanation of it was well, we, we read the verse first he that is unjust let him be unjust still he who is filthy uh, let him be filthy still he who is righteous let him go on and be more righteous and he who is holy let him be holy still that's a scripture i did add just a little bit in there but uh, isn't that something? And the way Derek Prince uh, explained it, what the verse is really saying, let who, him who is wicked go on and be even more wicked. Let him who is, uh, uh, what is the word? Evil. That's the word. Let him go on and become even more faithful. Well, that's what they're doing. They're, every time you listen to the news, every time you read it, anything that's going on, they're becoming more faithful. Mm -hmm. But the other side is, and let him that is righteous <coughs> go on and become Amen. faithful. Yes, hallelujah. That's right. that you Thank and you, I. Father. And <laughs> him that is holy, let him go on and become even more yes. Yes, Lord. and that's the side I, I'm on of course yes. and it's the side, side I want to talk about this morning oh hallelujah hallelujah I think both things are going to happen uh, but, but the righteous we know are going to win out yes. uh, Amen. the righteous are the ones that are going to conquer <coughs> with Christ because he's going to have to rule until everything is put under his feet all evil, all violence. So those that feel pretty confident uh, and shaking the fist at God and, and all that is good, you and I included, I tell you, they're going to change their tune. They're going to be singing in the minor key because it's all over. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I, I love him this morning. And he's been so good. I just, everything's coming together. In, in this place. And we're going to see some outstanding changes. Uh, well, it's already happening. Right. It's already right. happening. Right. Praise be God forever. A young man got his baptism of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The other night. Amen. Hallelujah. One brother testified that after he prayed for him, his, the pain in his back was gone. Right. Wow. Amen. Uh, we're going to see a lot more. Yeah. We're going to yeah. see the dead raised. Right. Amen. Before it's all over. Right. Hallelujah. I feel when the dead start being raised, we just about reached <laughs> our center. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there are people here that are marvelous candidates for the healing miracle powers of Jesus. Yeah. There are. And I suppose everywhere. 
but I know there certainly are here. And uh, we have those, uh, <coughs> Leo's wife is, is, is one of them. And uh, there are others. How many people have needs that need to be healed? Just this past week, one of our number, uh, the doctors told him there really is nothing to do. But there's something Jesus can do for yeah. us. Yeah. And he can give him a brand new knee without yeah. any recuperation or without any pains uh, and, and all that goes with it. Some of us have had knee operations and it's taken a while to get over it for the pain to cease and so on. But when God operates, <laughs> oh, oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God is good. My God is good. Hallelujah. I want to talk about the latter rain. The latter rain from Scripture, I talked about it before, explaining a little of what happened back in the late uh, 40s and on. But, uh, you know, it's amazing. It was a tremendous time when the people were turned to God. And uh, I, I know one man had a personal thing that I can't mention. Uh, he's a missionary. Been a missionary for years. He came home and he said, I just got to break this habit. He just felt that if he didn't break the habit, he'd die. I, I like it when people get that yeah. Yeah. Because they get somewhere with God. Yeah. They yeah. really do. You know? Uh, that man went back to the mission field with the habit gone. Yeah. It was broken. Oh, praise God. When you become desperate for the Lord, you're going to get something. Yeah. He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be failed. No question about it, they will be failed. If they hunger and thirst, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're going to have that hunger. Yeah. And you've got to have that thirst. <coughs> and, uh, oh, there, there was so many prophesied. <laughs> it seemed like everybody was prophesied. And uh, some of them weren't too good either. <laughs> but, uh, but they prophesied just the same. It's just like the little fellow said, I'm not the prophet or a prophet's son. But I'll do the prophet's time until the prophet's come. In other words, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly, more than happy, fill in the gap. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the, the, the rain, of course, is speaking of the Holy Spirit. That's the spiritual significance. Uh, the Spirit, the water is a type of the Spirit. And God says, I will pour water on him who is thirsty. And I'll pour floods, he said, upon the dry ground. Have you ever seen a gully washer? No. Have you ever seen the rain like uh, down in Nova Scotia when we were there? The, the road was, was here. And alongside the, the road, the rain, it, it had washed out enough that you could put a car in there wow. and, and the, the, the top of the car wouldn't be any higher than the road. It was something yeah. and they had to, had to fill it in again. So it, it took a lot of a, a rope. They were a lot longer filling it in than the rain was from catching it out. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, we need God yeah. We need the mighty power of God coming down yeah. in latter rain. That was one of the song, part of one of the songs. And we need to hear. Right. I don't think we should stop mm -hmm. at anything in seeking the face of God, in honoring Him and glorifying His name, that a mighty outpouring, a mighty visitation such as this world has never known. And uh, when I say that, I'm really thinking more in terms of the whole world. I believe there is a revival coming Amen. that's going to belt the globe, and it's going to be such that literally millions